Hi. Here comes the screen, just make sure the screen came up. Um, so I'm going to show how I record a, um, an animation clip. Um, I'm using a package called VC Face, which is uh, open source. It's on vcface.icu. You can download that one for free. It will capture my webcam, so I'm not using an iPhone or anything like that. But I can load up my own uh, Vroid Studio character, which I've created um, or adapted. And uh, it then transmits this over a protocol called VMC. Um, now, this actual program actually also supports a number of other utilities and tools, which I'm not going to use. I'm just using the basic settings here. Um, so it's going to capture the data and send it over to my um, Unity application. And inside Unity, I'm using a component, also completely free, called External Receiver. This is from the E... Um, have we got the package here? Well, it's called EVMC4U, which is um, E for, um, oh, I can't remember what it's all for. I'm just wondering if I can find it here. EVMC4U. So I just got, uh, this one's also free. And what it does is it receives the data. So you, you create an object in your scene. It's got this receiver. It's got a port number it's listing on. And I've, um, from my scene, I've dragged Ivy into the receiver so it knows how to adjust all the settings for this particular character. Um, and so uh, using that alone, why don't we just do a quick demo. Uh, using that alone, I can now control a character just by moving my head around and so forth. Um, I haven't got my Elite Motion camera on, so now I'm using the sequences package and it plays up a little bit sometimes. But here is, I am moving my head around up and down and so what's happening is it's um, sending the messages over and it's uh, controlling the character but you might notice oh, for some reason the mouth isn't moving so I'm going to have a look at um, so I can move the body around you can see here in the video but uh, why isn't the mouth moving um, this is where I'm going to come over and check it's doing the blend shape clips uh, and this is one of my slight frustrations with the tool uh, it could be just ignorance but um, things don't always work first time. You might notice here that I'm sending it over so that the software is capturing my mouth moving. So why isn't that working? I just love this software. Um, so we've got the transform, we've got blend shapes. Ah, uh, what I have to check sometimes is what components I've got turned on here. And now, yes. So my apologies, that was my fault. Um, and we'll get into this a little bit more, but VRM, uh, the Unity, there's a package called VRM, which you can load the Void Studio character into Unity, and it supplies a blend shape script, but I've also got my own one that I've been using, and so I often turn off the default one, and so that's why all the facial expressions weren't working. So now you can see the mouth is moving here. So cool, so that's um, VC face is feeding into external VMC recorder. I've got to be in plate mode to use this. And so then the next thing is, well, how do I, I've got a little bit of a scene down here and some things going on. How do I get my recording and add it into a track? Um, I'm going to get rid of these in a moment. This was a previous one I was just doing during testing. I'm going to get rid of that. So what I want to do is to get some recordings into here and see how it goes. So the way I use that, do that is with this E, uh, easy motion recorder another free package um, and it has got uh, you've got to load an object into a scene just to um, control it and so what it does is it watches a character and so I've dragged my Ivy character over into uh, the recorder this is the recorder slot and I've dropped my character into here so you can see it's over there um, and then in the game mode if you focus on the, I've got to actually click in the game window and it'll actually start. R will start recording, X will stop recording and it will create me a recording clip. So let's go. So I'm clicking over here. Uh, you might notice this little checkbox. This box will tick when recording is actually starting. 
and here I am, I'm doing some talking, I'm moving my head around and doing some sorts of things. Um, if I had my Leap Motion camera plugged in, uh, I could move my hands around as well, but uh, I don't have that going at the moment. And then I've got enough recording, I'm going to hit X to stop. And now it's stopped recording. Cool. So I had to do that in play mode for that to actually work. Um, but now I'm going to exit play mode and let's have a look at the results. Now, um, the sequences package just sort of loses context when you jump around a bit. So sometimes you've got to move the cursor around or flip preview on and off. It sort of also helps reset it. Um, the sequences packages um, is relatively new from Unity. It allows you to, to create nested timelines, sort of and nests them all and sort of does a little bit of work for you, which I do find convenient. Um, but let's have, now have a look. So what it's done is in the resources directory, uh, these are the ones I made just from before, so I'm going to fall back to them as the last resort. Now I turned on both face recording and um, the rest of the body recording. So if we double click and open up the face recording thing, the clip, it's actually created an animation clip directly and you'll see it's on the face, skin mesh renderer, and so these are directly recorded uh, blend shapes for the face for my Vroid character and this will not be the same for other characters. So um, how this works in a generic way is I believe for AR Kit they've come up with some generic names. Um, that's not what this one has done. This one has gone straight to the face and just remembered those sorts of recordings. But if I come and then into the timeline I can actually take um, I'm going to add all these tracks back in a moment, so I'm just cleaning up. I should have cleaned up before I started recording, but too bad. Uh, if I take this down and I drop it into the character, you start experiencing all these little gotchas all the time. Like you might notice my character suddenly disappeared from the scene. One thing you've got to make sure is you've got uh, apply scene offsets, which is just off the bottom of the window, which is really useful. But if, there's, um, if you right click and bring up the menu down below, there's track offsets. Uh, can I bring it up on the screen? Uh, track offsets, here we go, and then you can apply scene offsets. And what that does is it says, look, the recording may have said go to zero, zero for the character, but I want you to remember where this character was in the scene before playing it. But you'll still find where on earth is the character. So I come across the scene view um, and hit that. Hit sort of F and it sort of he's moved off to zero zero or well, she's moved off to zero zero and that's sort of a little bit weird um, but if we move in on the face you can see that this is moving and so this is sort of like the starts of the problems okay so I don't want it over here I want it back here in the location and so what I'd normally do is it's only doing the face so this is where I'd have a uh, override track and I'd actually move this down to an override track so it's, um, you still can't see the character. Uh, what I then do is I might go off and find, actually got one up just up here. I've got a, a T pose animation clip and I give that down as a base. And you might be saying, oh goodness, isn't this a bit much? Um, well, this is all the fun and games and maybe a better way, but this is the sorts of playing around I do. So the T pose is just a very simple thing. It's an animation clip um, based on the character. Now, you might notice I haven't put an avatar mask on. That's because this one, this uh, clip, the T-Pose clip, is using the animator and it's using all the muscles. So this is using avatar-based muscle animation. But if I come back and I have a look at my face recording, it's going straight to the face um, sub-layer of the character. So I've opened that up. It's got a face and it's got a whole lot of blend shape clips. And they're all in slightly blue because this is the animation clip that's actually controlling their animation at the moment, moving them all around. And so this is not generic. This is not using AR kit. This is using um, built-in blend shapes, which may be different if you're using the face capture built-in. Um, but this is this will be a similar sort of idea in terms of there'll be a number of clips. Anyway, so uh, coming back to timeline. Um, so now what about my body movements? I was moving the head around a little bit. So this is where I come back into the resources directory. And what it's done is it creates a single 
recording and if you come up here and right click you can export as a generic which will go to all the it'll be custom for this sort of character now all void characters are the same so it'll actually work across all void characters but i'm going to export it as a human uh, animation clip and then uh, down here i can get rid of my t pose i'm going to bring down my um, recorded one and see what happens and the answer is oh it's still going weird what's going on and yeah it's a bit of a pain where is the character now and we sort of find out oh hang on she's buried down underneath the floor so she was sort of there but she's just down out of sight hiding down there and so oh what am i going to do now now part of the challenge is i think the vc face it's not really designed for full body capture. It's really only doing the top half of the body. So what I do is I create another override track. I'm going to move the face recording down. I'm going to move that one down. And I'm going to grab my T-pose back from up here. Put in my T-pose. Oops. Come down here. Paste it down here. Um, but to both the T-pose and the motion recording, are uh, avatar based with all the muscles and so forth and so what i'm going to come up here i have got the avatar mask on and i've got a mask set up for top half of body avatar mask and if you have a look at it in humanoid i've sort of enabled the top half of the body and not the legs and the feet and that's fine because with vc's face i wasn't controlling these anyway so now what i've got is I've got the T-pose, which is just holding everything in place, which is fine for my particular shot because you don't really look at the legs. And you can see that now my recording clip is controlling everything else. I've got both the face movements going, um, which didn't need the avatar mask. I could stick one on if I wanted to, but it's just because it's not using the muscles. It's not using the avatar controls um, because the avatar controls are um, Let's, uh, let's try and bring it up if I go to let's quickly going over here so we've got an not animations this one the characters I want to bring up Ivy there's an avatar description oops dang it come over here to avatar description uh, it's the thing that maps the generic concept of a hips to a particular bone in this particular character. So there's an avatar description that goes through every single one of these generic concepts and maps it onto a specific thing. That's how uh, avatars work. And so this motion recorder, when I exported it as humanoid, it's done it in terms of these generic concepts on the animator. Uh, if I'd come off and recorded it individually, it would have actually worked for this character as well, but it wouldn't be using the normal, it wouldn't allow me to combine them with all my different clips. Um, because my other clips I've got are all humanoid based. And so that's uh, just a very quick run through. Is there anything else worth uh, running through before I finish? So that the question starts coming up with um, uh, Unity has also now got a face capture and I, I'm not an expert on it. I couldn't get it to actually to work with my characters and I had a version that worked already. Um, and so this is where I sort of go in and have a look at this to try and work out what's it animating. This is not avatar based and so I can just add extra override tracks on my character which I'm animating without problems um, but this was just a quick introduction to how I use the combination of these different tools how you I have to use different layers of tracks um, because I don't think it's animating the full character so if for example I turn that off it's down underneath the ground it's not what I want and so I have to start combining and layering some of these tracks sometimes to control what I want and decide which part I could um, instead of that might use like an idle animation Let's just pick one at random go back to the beginning and the idle animation's got a little bit of movement of the bottom legs but the head movement is still coming from uh, my re recording up here and if I um, muted it for example you'd see that um, still the mouth, the mouth is going and so uh, the mouth doesn't care what's going on in these ones because these are avatar based and this one is not and so you can, can see you can combine it in different ways and sometimes it's just a matter of working out well exactly what you want to do um, 
what recordings and, and so forth. And so I, personally, I actually don't use the face recordings very often. I've actually created a whole series of animation clips um, for uh, facial uh, expressions board and so forth. And uh, I just found this was, it allowed me to time things a little bit easier. And so I'll drop lots of little clips into one of these tracks to change all the expressions you know, for eyes. You can, I've got to um, disable different things. So this is why I, I actually not using the default uh, VRM blend shapes. I'm using uh, one of my own. And so what that allows me to do is, um, uh, I'm not gonna try and describe it any further, but anyway, I can use these and just drop them into a timeline and uh, control exactly when they start and stop and, and, and flow and so forth. But hopefully that was some use just showing how I actually use some of these tools together. And it's if you're using the Unity one, it's using the AR kit uh, blend shapes, which is um, my characters actually got all the AR kit blend shapes. If I just bring it up briefly, uh, the face, these are the built-in ones for Broad Studio. And these are actually, uh, it only gives you limited control. So if you um, disable that, and I go, yeah, I can sort of control angry expressions. But down here are all the AR kits, which are all these standard names ones. So I do have all these standard names ones. So I'm not exactly sure why I couldn't get it to work with the Unity camera, but it's a matter of then trying to work out, well, what did it bind through to what was the recording uh, built on? And it'll be based on all of the Unity things, I'm sure. Anyway, that's all for now. Um, hopefully this was slightly interesting.